Andrea here with Dental L Tutoring. I want to talk to you guys about the last minute preparation that you should be doing before you take the board exam. So if you're taking the board exam in a couple of days, if you're taking it next week, next month, it all kind of classifies as last minute preparation. So what should you be looking at? What topics and how should you be studying? At this point, you probably feel like you've been studying so much, you just don't know what else to study. You don't feel like you know everything, but when you go to study, you feel like you have read it before. So those are all very normal feelings, normal reactions. But I don't want you guys not to study because then you might forget something. You might not be looking at something that if you did look at it, when you have that question on the exam, you would have remembered it. So what I like to do is I like to tell my students to really go through mock exam questions, go through questions, answers, um, rationales. I don't want you to just be reading through your textbook or reading through the notes that you've already been doing because it's going to be a be there or like been there, done that. And you're just going to be reading the same things for five hours and then not actually retaining anything, getting annoyed at yourself because you feel like you haven't retained anything and didn't actually learn anything. So really practice focus studying as your last minute preparation. And I say that because let's say you have six months before you take the board exam, you have time. If you go through mock exam questions, you're not gonna know any of the answers, you're going to get frustrated and that doesn't work. So I tell my students how to study six months before the exam and how to study a couple weeks or a month or two very, very differently. So if you have six months, I actually want you to be going through all of your notes textbooks. If you have signed up for my board exam prep academy course, go through all of the course notes, PowerPoints, um, um, video teachings. But we're talking about if you're taking the board exam soon. So in a couple days, a couple weeks, maybe next month, it's very different mock exam questions. So I have a full board exam boot camp, which is perfect for those who are taking the board exam very soon. It's a, it's a full two hours live with me where I go over mock exam questions, critical thinking, case studies. And I'm going to be showing you guys some examples of those questions in a little bit. But more than just PowerPoint preparation and notes is I will be there to help to explain every question. I'm going to be able to answer questions. So let's say we're talking about pharmacology and you have another question like, oh, Andrea, I just thought of this. What's the answer to this? Guess what? I can help you. There is nothing like live tutoring preparation. But I am also including inside the board exam boot camp is extra PowerPoints, extra video teachings of me teaching you mock exam questions, answers, and why picking the best answer has to be the way to go and why the other answers aren't correct and what makes a better answer better than another one. Because on the board exam, two answers, say hi to my dog Teddy on my patient chair, but you know. <laughs> Two answers are always going to be correct, but you have to learn how to pick the most correct. And that's what I teach you guys to do. So I'm just gonna share my screen for a moment. I was literally just preparing for the board exam boot camp next week. And don't worry if you can't attend live, it will be fully recorded for those that sign up. So you can watch it as many times as you want. So I'm just gonna share my screen here and in the description down below, I'm going to have the link for the board exam boot camp for you. Once you sign up, you get full access right away. Even if it's before um, January 12th and 13th, you get full access right away to all of the bonus materials, which, in, which includes hundreds of mock exam questions that you get right away complimentary. So you do not, you do not have to pay extra for that. So just to give you guys a quick example here, um, and I'm still working on this, so this will change, but so far there's 130 slides already. So that's pretty cool, right? So just as an example, why do we coronal polish? You might be thinking, well, I know what polishing is, it's to remove stain, but it's so much more than that. So you might be looking through these answers and thinking, oh, that's easy. I know the answer to that. But guess what? It's probably not what you think. You want to get a smooth tooth surface that retains less stain. So my guess is a lot of you guys picked the last one. 
But remember, there's a difference between intrinsic stain and extrinsic stain. Intrinsic stain is inside the tooth and extrinsic is outside. So this is a very easy question, but notice how the answer isn't always as it appears. Let me pick a different one here. Oh, sorry guys, I kind of gave you guys the answer to that. So let's just do a different one. What is the appearance of Nasmith's membrane stain? Do you know this answer? My guess is if you didn't take my board exam prep academy course, you probably didn't study something like this. The board exam is not easy. They're not going to ask you questions like, what is gingivitis? What is perio? What is intrinsic stain? What is extrinsic stain? They're going to ask you to apply your knowledge in a critical thinking question. So this is a perfect example. So you would need to know what a NAS, NAS myths membrane is. You need to know the different types of stain. And that's what I help you guys with light green or brown stain. If you didn't study this, you wouldn't know the answer. If you took my board exam prep academy course, you probably know this, or at the very least, if you attend the board exam boot camp on the 12th or the 13th, you will know this answer. So that's another nice thing about the board exam boot camp is if you really don't know if you're on the right track with your study, it's a great um, review to take because let's say you do have a month before the board exam. If you take at the board exam boot camp and you kind of go, oh my God, Andrea, I didn't know a lot of those questions. That was really hard for me. Don't worry. Think positive. That means for the next month, buckle down and study. And guess what? If you need help, I'm here to help you. So if you haven't signed up yet for the board exam boot camp, this is for dental hygiene students. The one that I have for dental assisting students is probably going to be the week after that. Um, but stay tuned for the link for that. But if you're a dental hygiene student taking the board exam soon, you want this course. There's a lot of um, bonus material. If you sign up this week, it is included absolutely free. Um, the price does go up a little bit on January the 10th. So when you're watching the video, the price might have increased a little bit because I like to offer a good early bird special. Okay, you guys, let me know if there's any questions. Thank you guys. And I hope to see you for the board exam boot camp very, very soon.